Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming, bringing you an alternate way to take down Oryx now. I want to be very upfront and honest with you guys, very 100 as my friend Freak would say, but uh, this is not a method that I came up with or anything like that. In fact, we were talking yesterday in a group chat and my friend Tebu Lexcon was telling us some alternate ways to take down Oryx. And then when we actually got to this guy last night, uh, my other friend Dagan, he was like, hey, let's do the 16 bubble method. So that's what we're doing here, the 16 bomb method. Now, it's pretty much starts out the same way everybody goes to their platform as you guys know as you stand on these platform it makes a bridge or a way to get up to that artifact so that the person can come down with that aura and invincibility and everything like that but there is oryx he's smashing that platform so they're going to be first to jump up over there and then you go counterclockwise away for three platforms a total of three so that's one on platform two now as soon as you get on these platforms you get these ogres points now the key to this method is you have to drop the ogres where they actually come up so right away you can see you know we're really concentrating on these ogres using tethering and everything like that and dropping them where they stand and then we're going to relocate to the middle so if you don't have the dps or the ability to drop these ogres where they stand you probably don't want to try this method out but if you do this is a really good method and i wouldn't recommend using a rocket launcher like that but as you can see at two, I'm using the Touch of Malice. The Touch of Malice is really nice because it allows you to focus on damaging Oryx and killing adds in this aura of invincibility without using your sniper rifle. So I'd really encourage you guys to get that, but it's not necessary for this challenge. So there he is, we're preventing the clap by hitting him and damaging him right there. And then I'm just gonna work on adds, clearing out adds with the Touch of Malice and uh, trying to get this a little bit safer once we come out of this area. So it's pretty much all the same up until this point right here. Now, uh, because we're not going to detonate the bombs, normally after we'd uh, prevent that clap, we'd go run to the bombs. But since we're not doing that, we're going to get that Shadow of Oryx guy that comes out because we didn't detonate that and do any real damage on Oryx. So that's going to happen here in a second. And while we're waiting, let me remind you that I have my friend's YouTube channels, the guys that I'm playing with, actually in the description of this video along with some other guys that I'm not playing with that are friends, so make sure you check that out. Also, I have a link to my Twitter. You can find me and also find me on Facebook. But there we go. I get teleported first. A rocket launcher is probably the least effective thing to use in here because a lot of times you will miss. I do have tracking on mine, so it does come in handy. And I really like my rocket launcher against the ogres. Rocket launcher and a high-impact sniper rifle, the 1,000-yard stairs of one that you can buy from the Vanguard uh, weapons dealer. So make sure you pick that up if you do not have a high impact sniper. That's gonna really help you out in this raid. But there is the Shadow of Oryx. We're just gonna take him down. I think I switch over to my sniper rifle right here. But normally you don't have to do this part until you get Oryx down to below 50% health. But we think this is actually easier doing this than actually doing that running around where you try not to get blown up and everything like that. We usually have somebody die. And I will say this, the first time that we tried this, we actually succeeded. So, I, like I said, I think this is a little bit easier method. But now we're just going to rinse and repeat. We're just going to go back to our platforms. And I'm going to actually switch over and show you what it looks like to be one of the damaged people in the middle right here. So here I am as a Titan. Now when we do this, my friends and I, we actually have one person that's dedicated in this middle area as a damaged person. They just want to take out the ogres. And then whoever doesn't jump up on a platform comes to the middle too to help out take you out with the ogres. So as you can see, just want to stress this again, you want to drop these ogres as soon as possible because we want all the orbs, all those bombs, to be in the same spot. So that's really key that you just drop these guys as soon as possible. Use your high impact snipers again, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the whole deal but uh, here we are that's what it looks like if you're one of these damaged people you just want to rotate around and drop them as soon as possible and then just kind of like I said just rinse and repeat so this is the last run and this is back to our first run as you can see there's three bombs right there we're just gonna repeat this there is Oryx slamming so the pe first people jump up there over on the right then the people to my left are gonna jump up and I'm just waiting to hear them call out they say yeah jumping up there's a good spot image of all three of the orbs right there we want to get four all in the same place and detonate all 16 at the same time so here i am taking down the final ogre and there he goes down really fast right in that spot so i'm gonna have four bombs right there and the same thing with these other areas make sure you really use heavy ammo cakes and do what you need to so that you can take down those ogres and then we're coming back to the middle so as soon as we get back into the middle of course, you got to drop this night guy. I'd recommend having somebody with a sword to take him down super fast. That just makes it a lot easier, but we're going to clear some of these little ads right here and then get ready for him to open up his chest for the final time. So there's his chest. 
we get the notification right there that we did enough damage and then it's back to hit these bombs and I'm the one calling it out since I'm the furthest one away from all these bombs so there I am hitting the bombs you don't have to stay there really long I usually do like a two count three count and you can see on the bottom left all those bombs going off that is it he is done so hopefully this video helps you out let me know if you use this method or a different one like I said I'm not taking credit for this method I want to want to be that person or anything like that I'm just showing it to you and kind of telling you how we did it so I think like I said it's just a little bit easier to stay alive uh, we did it on our first run the second time that we did it we weren't as successful we got the bombs uh, spaced out a little bit and so we kind of wiped one time but then we did it on the second time so just make sure that you get those bombs all in the same area but that's it so let me know what you guys think make sure you find me like i said on twitter if you haven't subscribed subscribe if you like it uh, if you like this kind of content i try to keep my commentary really clean no swearing or anything like that so you can listen to it with your family but that's where i'm gonna end it as always take care and god bless